During our courses, we have been using global story maps, satellite images, and all kinds of maps to show different conflicts around the world and other different topics related to our courses. This opportunity we are going to share what we've been doing lately related to cyber wars and the recent Iran, Israel attacks and Gaza, and what we have been doing for the last years, the Ukrainian Russian war. This presentation is about maps and graphics of Iranian drone and missile attacks to Israel. We are going to explore the news and share what we have found while looking at some of the maps. First, we want to see the situation on April 1st when the consulate of Iran in Damascus suffered an attack. This was used by Iran as an excuse to start the attack to Israel. We're going to see different news, but this map shows the location of the Damascus consulate, the distance between Tehran in Iran, a ship that was controlled by Iranian forces near the Strait of Hormuz and the area of the Red Sea where we have seen issues related to ships near Yemen. According to the news, the, um, the attack unfolded by you know, drones and missiles that went from Iran and other countries around Israel. We can see in this map how the attack was stopped by Israel. Iran fired more than 300 missiles and drones at Israel on, on that Saturday, in which 99% were intercepted according to Israeli officials. It was the first time that a nation has launched a launch rad attack of this scale against Israel since Saddam Hussein, Iraq, 33 years ago. The attack was the anticipated response from Tehran to a strike at the start of the month on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, the Syrian capital. Israel did not claim responsibility for the attack, but Iran blamed them anyway. In this map, we can see that Iran fire missiles and drones from Syria, Iraq, and Lebanon, as well as Iran itself. Hezbollah forces also fire at Israel from Lebanon. While the shortest distance from Iran to Israel is about 620 miles, the missiles were fired from Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. Iran said that the all attack included 170 drones more than 30 cruise missiles and more than 120 ballistic missiles. Israel said that 90% of the incoming missiles were intercepted. The United States, the UK, France, and Jordan were also involved in shooting down the missiles and drones. On this picture, we can see the missile targets and the interception over Israel. We can see the missiles intercepted over the West Bank, over Jerusalem, the only direct hit was a Nevatim air base, and a seven-year-old girl was also injured. Jordan intercepted missiles for Israel. In this map, we can see the location of the attacks in Israel. This map shows the empty Middle East airspace as flights were canceled or that you diverted after Iran's attack on Israel. Israel, Jordan, Iraq, and Lebanon all stopped the flights from Saturday evening, but after a brief pause, airspace reopened, allowing aircraft to take off on the region on Sunday. This is how the attack unfolded. The attack started in the afternoon, according to the Institute for Study of War, and there were three waves over several hours. 
The drones were launched first, ballistic missiles were fired about an hour later, so they would strike Israel at about the same time, according to a statement from Iran Revolutionary Guards Corp. Israel defense system helped to minimize the impact of the attack. Israel Iron Dome and Arrow 3 system were credited with shooting down most of the drone and missiles from Iran. The Iron Dome is a mobile all-weather missile defense system designed to detect and shoot down short-range rockets fired into Israel. It also can be used against enemy artillery and drones. The Iron Dome can detect and engage rockets up to 40 miles away. Each of, the, each of its 10 batteries can protect a 58 square mile area. It's a portable system towered by trucks. But there are other elements of the Iron Dome that you can see in the picture. Davis Slink is a defense against short range ballistic missiles large caliber rockets and cruise missiles, and Arrow 3 is a defense against medium range ballistic missiles. Finally, we have this graphic that is very interesting because it shows the attack, the number of drones, the missiles and the cruise missiles launch, the interception and the Iranian bases and the US and other ships that were part of this operation. As we continue watching the news, we are now in a moment that we know that uh, both countries and all the countries in the region are engaged in some kind of cyber war, in some kind of activity in cyberspace. And we use this technology to share with you the news that what we are finding related to this attack. As we continue these uh, global learning maps, we will show you more of the upcoming events that are happening in the Middle East.